Hello, Assalamu alaikum and Selamat Zajatra everyone. Uh, I am so sorry. Uh, I'm on emergency leave today, so we would go online. Um, okay, so we are still in, in the extreme problems, okay? So in the last lecture, we have identified the critical point, okay? Now let's consider fx equals to x squared. So you know that your critical point is 0, 0, okay? So if you take um, two values from the interval of negative infinity to 0, and um, per se, uh, that be negative 2 and uh, negative, uh, negative 2 and negative 1, okay? So, you know that your value for f negative 2 will be greater than f negative 1. So, you know that f is decreasing, lah, okay? At the interval of negative infinity to 0. Okay, similarly, if you consider um, uh, in the interval of 0 to infinity, okay, 0 to infinity, so you take uh, f of 1 and f of 2, so you will get f1, uh, value is less than f2 so you know that they are increasing uh, okay at the interval of 0 to negative infinity okay a more sophisticated way to determine whether the function is increasing or uh, decreasing at a certain interval is by using derivative okay so now let's consider this curve okay so you have um, a tangent of both curves that are positive can okay? remember positive again so how you think of y equals to x is like this okay so your gradient is positive here is a uh, gradient negative okay all right so uh, th this is the example um, the second um, pic uh, picture here is the example of where you have a gradient um, less than zero okay so um, there's a theorem saying that let f be continuous on interval of a b and differentiable on a b so if your f prime x greater than zero meaning that your um, gradient is positive then um, f will be increasing uh, on the interval of a b so if your gradient is um, gradient tangent is less than zero meaning that you would have a negative um, gradient so f will be decreasing on interval a b so uh, if f prime x equals to zero so you're going to have a constant um, on the interval of a b lah, okay all right now let's move to identifying a uh, local extremum or we we call it as a relative extremum okay so a uh, similar example uh, y equals to x squared okay so your critical point is at 0 0 okay and you know that um, at the interval of uh, negative infinity to 0 you're going to have a uh, decreasing function and at uh, 0 to negative infinity you're going to have a increasing function okay so um so logically, when you have something decreasing, so uh, your fx is decreasing, okay, right, decreasing, and then at x equals to zero, it will start to increase. So you know that uh, this is the shape of the curve, and definitely there will be a, a local minimum at x equals to zero since the um, there's a change of uh, positive to negative sign of f prime x. Okay, so this is a uh, call um, as the first derivative test. Okay, so that will be uh, another test to identify local extremum. Um, later we will um, look at it. That uh, will be called as a second derivative test so yang ni is first derivative test dulu ya kita tengok ok so the first derivative test for local extremum um, so let f be continuous on the interval uh, a b open interval that contains the critical point c ok so if f prime x changes from positive to negative c then f has a local maximum so dia macam uh, you have a positive changing to negative so you're gonna have a uh, local maximum right so uh, here, when it, when f prime x changes from negative infinity to positive, f prime x meaning that the gradient tangent lah um, changes from negative to positive. So you're gonna have a uh, minimum at uh, x equals to c. So your c is the critical point. Okay. All right. So if f prime x is less than zero or f prime x greater than zero for all x in the interval except for x equals to c, then f has neither a local minimum or local maximum. So meaning that there is no uh, change from positive to negative of f prime x. The theorem just now is can be illustrated by the following graph. Okay? Now uh, we move to the concave of the function to consider figure 5a and 5b um, so both of uh, these two curves they are actually increasing however they bend in different direction yang satu ni yang 5a ni um, it bends upward kan 
Okay. Um, so this is what we call as concave outward. Yang ni dia bend down. So this is what we call as concave downward. Okay. Similarly, um, this is concave outward. Tapi the function is uh, decreasing. And this function is decreasing also. Tapi dia concave downward. Okay. So kalau if you notice. Okay. If the curve lie above the tangent, okay, so for example, you have 5A, so the curve is actually above the tangent, okay, the straight line here is the tangent, okay, um, then uh, Fx is called concave outward, okay, so kalau you ada um, the curve which lies below the tangent um, line, uh, we would call it as a concave downward, so logically, um, can uh, f lies above all uh, its tangent tangent to is actually f prime x can so somehow we can actually um, identify the concavity based on uh, its derivative okay so uh, let uh, let's look at another definition let f be differentiable function on the interval a b the graph of f is said to be concave outward if and only if f prime x increases on a and b Okay, so kalau you tengok, uh, this is concave outward. You look at the tangent, the tangent can, the slope is keep on increasing. Okay, and uh, if the graph of uh, f, f prime x decreases on a, b, then uh, the graph of f uh, is said to be concave downward. Okay, alright, so now recall that if f prime uh, x is greater than 0 on an interval, then f is increasing. Okay, so using the same reasoning, if your f double prime x is greater than 0 on an interval, then f prime is also increasing. Lah. So, from definition uh, 2 here, okay, f is concave outward if f prime is increasing. So, hence, the second derivative can be used to determine concavity. Okay, So, um, uh, this is the theorem for the concavity test. Let f be differentiable function on interval a, b. So, if your f prime x is greater than 0, meaning that your f is increasing lah, okay? Keep on increasing at interval a, b, then the graph is concave upward, okay? And if f double prime x less than 0, uh, then the graph is uh, concave downward. Okay. okay, now let's look at the point of inflection, okay? So a point uh, p on a curve of uh, y equals fx is called a point of inflection if f is continuous at p and the curve changes from concave outward to uh, changes to concave outward to concave downward okay uh, all right so example of graphs with uh, different types of point of inflection is like this okay so yang ni is the critical point okay so kalau di changes to concave downward to concave outward uh, so this critical point is also called as a point of inflection okay similarly kalau you ada a vertical um gradient okay uh, here okay so this is your critical point uh, before the interval before the critical point they concave upward and then they change to concave downward okay so this is also a critical point and a uh, inflection point okay tapi ada juga a point of inflection yang bukannya uh, critical point okay all right so since point of inflection separates a portion of the graph that is concave outward from portion of graph that is concave downward it means that the point if inflection exists at the point where f double prime changes from negative to positive or vice versa again so but f double prime ni, uh, uh, apa ni determines the concavity so therefore point of inflection only exists at the point where f double prime x equals to zero okay or f double prime x does not exist okay kalau you have a um, critical point okay so uh, you can consider f prime x equals to zero and f double prime uh, so f prime x does not exist okay tapi kalau point of inflection you use double prime so now let's look at uh, a few examples, okay. Uh, per se, uh, you have a function of uh, y equals to 3x power 4 minus 4x cubed. Describe the concavity of the graph and find if exists the point of inflection. Yang ni, I tukar sikit lah, eh, soalan dia. Um, find, uh, describe the, uh, find, katalah, find um, all um, uh, local uh, extrema, okay, extremum and describe the concavity of the graph and find if it exists the point of inflection okay okay so before you uh, get the uh, local extremum okay the first thing is that you can cari 
critical point okay all right so how do you get your critical point you differentiate uh, dy over dx you will get 12x power 3 minus 12x power 2 okay so to get the critical point you consider two cases when uh, dy over dx equals to 0 so you will get 12x cubed minus 12x squared um, equals to 0 therefore 12x uh, squared x minus 1 equals to 0. So, x akan sama dengan kosong and x sama dengan 1. These two are your critical point. Okay. Uh, so, the second case where dy over dx does not exist, uh, we do not consider that. It's about, this is just a polynomial. Kan? After you get your critical point, okay, so you can uh, form an interval. Okay. So, you're going to have a negative infinity to 0, uh, 0 to 1 and 1 to um, infinity okay okay so to find uh where does the um function increase or decrease you boleh buat the first derivative test okay so uh yang ni nanti you buat f prime x okay so your f prime x uh is this one okay so you take uh one value from the interval of negative infinity to zero per se you are made negative one okay so negative one you are can dapat f prime x as negative okay and then um, if you take uh, per se 1 over 3 from interval 0 to 1 you can uh, dapat negative juga okay per se you take uh, 2 put it in f prime x you can dapat positive okay so you know that your fx is actually uh, decreasing decreasing and at x uh, equals to 1 it finally um, increases okay so you know that uh, yang ni kan dia macam there's a change of increasing decreasing to increase so you know that there's a local minimum exists at x equals to 1 okay so x equals to 1 um, there's a local minimum okay okay so now you would like to um, identify the concavity of uh, these points okay find the uh, point of inflection dulu okay alright point of inflection okay so to determine point of inflection uh, you can uh, uh, get the f double prime x dulu so your f double prime x will be uh, 36x squared minus 24x okay so two cases uh, that you need to consider to get the point of inflection the first one is when f double prime x equals to 0 okay so you will get 36x squared minus 24x equals to 0 so 24 so here you factorize, uh, you can factorize this. So you will get 3x squared minus 2x equals to 0. So x, um, 3x minus 2 equals to 0. So x equals to 0 and 2 over 3 um, is your inflection, uh, is the inflection point. So sebenarnya x equals to 0 is also uh, an inflection point and also a critical point. So tadi critical point, you have um, 0 and 1, okay, x equals to 0, x equals to 1. Your inflection uh, point, you have um, berapa tadi? 0 and uh, 2 over 3, okay. So you will have negative infinity to 0, uh, 0 to 2 over 3, okay. Uh, 2 over 3 to 1 and 1 to infinity ok so just now kita ada f uh, double prime x kan so you can dapat negative 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 positive ok ok so this is where it is decreasing 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 and finally increasing ok so this is your fx okay now uh, to identify the concavity we uh, take the f double prime what is our f double prime just now um that is 36 x squared minus 24 x okay okay so if you take one value test value uh per se negative one you put in f double prime you are going to put the sign of f double prime as uh, positive um your knee will be negative at two to three uh, you are kind of uh, positive and also positive okay so meaning that your fx at a negative uh, infinity zero you will have a concave upward concave downward concave um, uh, upward and concave upward okay so 
here kalau you nak uh, sketch the graph so basically uh, the graph would look like this okay from negative infinity to zero it will keep on decreasing okay but the shape is concave it bend upward okay and then uh, from zero to two over three uh, it is still decreasing but uh, it is bent downward concave downward okay all right something like this okay and um uh, at two over three okay uh they can jadi concave outward balik okay tapi it is still uh, decreasing okay and jana at uh, x equals to one okay jadi macam ni lah okay jadi macam ni okay so there's another uh, point okay where at uh, x equals to one there's a local uh, minimum okay so this is the inflection point this is the inflection point okay uh, so that is how the uh, graph looks like okay ni concave upward concave downward concave upward balik yang ni concave upward tapi dia increasing okay so now let's look at uh, at the last question okay so a curve is given by the function fx equals to um, root 3 of x minus 1 find the first and second derivative of f okay so your f sorry your f uh, prime x will be equals to so you need x minus 1 power 1 over 3 so that would be 1 over 3 x minus 1 power negative 2 over 3 your second derivative will be uh, negative uh, 2 over 9 x minus 1 um, and then minus 1 jadi minus 5 over 3 ok 5 over 3 so here you can rewrite as 1 over 3 x minus 1 power 2 over 3 um, this one you can rewrite as negative 2 over 9 x minus 1 power 5 over 3 ok so uh, that's your first and second derivative of f find the coordinates of the critical point ok so to get your critical point ok you would consider uh, kalau you tengok f prime x equals to 0 you tak akan dapat apa-apa lah because uh, your numerator is uh, cannot be equals to 0 and it is 1 right so there's only um, f prime x does not exist okay so uh, f prime x uh, does not exist if uh, your denominator which is your 3x minus 1 power 2 over 3 is equal to 0 so therefore um, uh, you need 3 uh, uh, so therefore um, x minus 1 will be equal to 0 so x equal to 1 is your uh, critical point so kalau you uh, put back in your fx so your critical point will be uh, 1 and 0 okay Alright, next one is determine the nature of the points, whether they are maximum, minimum or point of inflection. Okay, so, um, kalau you tengok, because okay, you nak cari maximum, minimum, okay, so what you do, kalau you nak guna first derivative test, uh, you can buat interval dulu lah. So, meaning that you would have uh, negative infinity to uh, 1 uh, and 1 to infinity, okay. So, kalau you use first derivative uh, f prime x, okay, so you akan dapat um, positive kat sini, okay, take one value lah, per se uh, 0, for this interval, uh, 1 to infinity, per se you take 2, put in your f prime x, you akan dapat positive juga. So, meaning that um, there is no extremum point, sebab the, your f x uh, keeps on increasing, okay. Alright, um, Kalau you nak cari the point of inflection pula, so you would consider f double prime x equals to zero. Uh, pun tak boleh juga sebab your numerator here um, is uh, two. Okay, so uh, you only have f double prime x does not exist. Okay, so uh, this is uh, yeah. so f double prime x does not exist uh, if uh, your denominator ni which is 9 x minus 1 power uh, 5 over 3 is equal to 0 so you are can dapat your inflection point as x equals to 1 so apparently your critical point is also a uh, inflection point okay so to um, get the concavity you uh, get the sign of the f double prime okay so kalau you put in uh, zero okay you can dapat positive okay uh, so here uh, i'll just rewrite again lah. negative one negative infinity one one to infinity so if you take uh, f double prime x the sign will be x kalau x sama dengan zero you can dapat positive 
um, yang ni you akan dapat uh, negative okay so this your fx will be concave upward at negative infinity to 1 and concave downward at 1 to infinity so meaning that your graph would look something like this ni ada 1 kan your critical point and also your inflection point okay so you akan ada concave upward okay sampai sini at 1 you akan start to concave downward okay so and there is no extremum lah okay so that's how your graph looks like so we've come to the last um, subtopic uh, on extremum problems uh, that is the second derivative test for relative extremum so um, best recall that we can investigate the nature of critical points i.e. identifying uh, local extremum using first derivative test so alternatively um, so it means that you can cari critical point can after you get your critical point you can uh, get the interval okay uh, and then you can cari f double prime x punya sign okay and then you determine whether it's uh, if it's positive then this is increasing if it's negative then it is uh, decreasing okay but alternative um, way of uh, the first derivative test is using the second derivative test okay uh, that is to identify relative extremum okay so um, let's look at the theorem for secondary test suppose f has a second derivative at uh, the critical point c so if f double prime c is greater than zero then f has a local maximum minimum at c if f double prime c is less than zero then f has a local maximum at c so kalau lah if you uh, if you get f double prime c equals to zero then the test is inconclusive so you um, cannot determine lah whether it's minimum or maximum so what you do is that you guna the first derivative um, test balik so the second derivative test ni would not work if you have f double prime c equals to zero okay? so you cannot conclude anything so um, you can guna first derivative test juga yeah so let's look at uh, one example. Okay, determine all relative extremum and point of inflection for the function of this. Okay, so kita boleh guna um, second derivative test sebenarnya. Okay, so kalau eh, your f prime x will be three x squared minus twelve x plus nine. Okay, so to get your critical point, okay, um, consider f prime x equals to zero. So therefore, three uh, x squared minus twelve x plus nine equals to zero. So you factorize x minus 3, x minus 1 equals to 0. So x equals to 3 and 1 uh, are your critical point. Okay. So now uh, let's find the f double prime x. Okay. So from here, you are going to put 6x minus 12. Okay. So to get your... Um, to get your local extremum using... Um, using second derivative test okay so you take the uh, critical point so f double prime 3 uh, inside your f double prime so you take so to to get the f double prime uh, f double prime 3 will be equals to 6 times 3 minus 12 so yang ni will be equals to 6 so 6 means it is greater than 0 so kalau you tengok oh, 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 oh. So, kalau you tengok your theorem, okay, if it's greater than zero, then f has a local minimum at um, c, okay. So, therefore, um, you would have, uh, there exists um, a relative uh, minimum at x equals to 3. Okay, so, kalau you put your critical value um, 1 inside your f double prime x, okay, so, yang ni akan jadi 1. So, you will get... Um, 6 times 1 minus 12, you are going to put negative 6. That is less than 0. So, from the theorem of second derivative test, there exists a relative maximum at x equals to 1. So, to get the inflection um, point, okay, uh, you consider point of inflection, you consider f double prime x uh, equals to 0 or, and also f double prime x uh, does not exist. Tapi, in this case, your f double prime x is just a uh, apa ni, linear function saja. Um, so, you don't have to consider when f double prime x does not exist. So, therefore, your point of inflection will be uh, 6x minus 12 equals to 0. So, your x will be equals to 2. Okay. So, to get your point, uh, you put back inside your fx. So, you are going to put 2 and 3 um, is the point of uh, inflection. Okay. okay so, uh, that's all for today and that's all from uh, me. Dr. Atisham uh, will repeat the same thing um, on getting the uh, critical points, uh, getting the uh, local extremum, getting the uh, concavity and also the point of inflection uh, when uh, she teach on the uh, sketching uh, the curve of the function. Okay, So thank you so much and uh, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.